And we have another person who's paging through the book here. We got yet another person who's paging through the book, trying to go ahead and figure out how to do internal rates of return. How are you guys doing over here? You have carefully written internal rate of return there, haven't you? Yep. Yes, anything that looks like a calculation yet? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. How about you over here? If you got anything that looks like a calculation yet on the internal rate of return? I'm guessing it's this. You're guessing it's this. Uh, squared. Um, okay. Now, would that actually give you internal rate of return? Uh, well, if you go ahead and run back to it real fast, go ahead and turn back to where you are. Do you see that you've already assumed that the interest rate is 10% right there? So, go ahead. Yeah. So, basically, you cannot find what I is because you've already assumed what the interest rate is. So, what that calculation is actually most likely to do, it's most likely to give you the present worth when the interest rate is 10%. That's what you're likely to get from that. Okay? Okay. Make sense? Yeah.